when the operators have uh, completed their work, it's time to time report. They will probably be web users, so they will be able to time report through the web. But I will show you the time report here in the desktop client. This little red dot means time report. So you will get to the time report through the booking. I will open our project again. You will either find the booking here or you will find it also inside the project. I will open it here. Here is the red dot. You click on it and it opens the time report window. What you can do is that you can click here and put the start time and then the end time. So let's say that they started nine and then maybe they started in a different uh, they ended in a different time than they, uh, they originally booked. So let's say that this guy now worked from 9 to 7. We get it 9 to 7. Again, we will do the same here. 9 to 7. And it's time reported like that. I will cancel this because I want to show you another way of doing it. If time that they worked is also the same as they booked, you can click here and you can say set time as booked. But let's uh, do again here 9 to 7 and 9 to 7. So we have a difference from what we actually booked. Here you will see what you booked in here you will see what you time reported. And when it has been time reported, this becomes green. Now I'm going to show you a cool thing in the hour line after the time report. Up here, you can select what you want to see here in your hour line. At the moment, we're looking at booked only, meaning these are bookings the time that has been booked. And this booking here, the grading in our project was booked between 9 and 6. But we time reported, I can open this one and you will see. I go to the time report here. But we time reported 9 to 7, which is our use time. So we see used here and we see booked here. 9 to 6, 9 to 7. Cancel here. And here we are again, booked only, 9 to 6. If I click here and I will say now used only, it's only going to show me the bookings that I have time reported. So now you will see how the booking will change from ending at 6 to ending at 7. And now it's only showing me this booking. The other one that we saw down here has not yet been time reported. That's why it's not showing. Then you have a third option here, which is called used booked. So as long as the booking has not been time reported, it's going to show the booked time. But when it has been time reported, it will now show you the used time, which equals the time reported time.